Tell me something. Are you a fan, pimp? Do you want to be serviced? Of course you do. Who doesn't? You're telling me you want to play a Saints Row game where all the women aren't packing a couple of Chinese hot air balloons in there? That's what I thought. Fan service is the spice of life. It's the nod from the makers to the fans going, we got you. We love you. We're never gonna leave you. But fan service extends to much more than just the absence of budget cuts. Fan service is also remaining faithful, biblically, to the religion of not making absolute dog shit that disregards what was in favor of lighting a hundred million dollars on fire. It's the practice of giving the fans what they want instead of making whatever you want and going, haters gonna hate when fans retaliate because of what you destroy. And listen, I'm just giving developers a heads up. I don't really care what you do, because for me, the result is all the same, pimp. I'm still here playing Pizza Tower, watching as all the chickens come home to roost. But now if you did the opposite, you will see your stuff rise to the top of the charts. Hell, fan service has become a whole genre because it's the easiest money these companies have ever made, unless you're Rockstar. Good fan service can take a mid-game like Soggy Hog and turn it into a 9 out of 10. Good fan service can take a game like Dick Tide and give people a crippling addiction. And good fan service can take a game like Genshin Impact and put you in crippling debt. And if fan service can do that to a game like Genshin Impact, then maybe some fan service can save this country a soul. God bless, God bless, God bless. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now there is nuance to all of this, but this is the internet, pimp. We don't do all that. Which leads us to the game we're talking about today, Like a Dragon Ishin. Part of the main plot is sumo wrestling some naked dude in a spa. If that ain't fan service, then I don't know what is, pimp. Take a gander at this. <laughs> Alright, let's kick this off by talking about the com. You know what? Actually, we'll, we'll get back to the combat. Let's start with this. Do you like looking at cocks? Seeing how they move? How they measure up? Getting the bros together and bonding over them? I've spent hours doing this. Toiling over this. Well, how about watching them race? That's right, we're talking about rooster racing, ladies and gentlemen. But it's not the 50s anymore, pimps. Now, even hens can take on cock in a head-to-head -head showdown. But the best part is, and this is where the minigame comes in, you get to do a bit of degenerate gambling. Yeah! But before I proceed, for the big brother that will inevitably be manually reviewing this, I am referring to the scientific phrase in reference for male chickens, not the swear. If that means anything to you, pimp, I love you. Anyways, this mini game had me yelling numerous obscenities at a chicken called Kaching Cochin at 3 a.m. in the morning because he was being a little Kentucky Fried bitch, and I bet heavy that he was going to win it all. But meanwhile, what is he doing? Oh, he's hanging back in fourth place. Like I didn't just spend one hour losing my goddamn mind on that Udon mini game just so that he could be taking a walk out there on Daytona Raceway. And that's a testimony to its quality. Chicken racing is a mini game that most are gonna write off as dumb or trivial or or. Skillless. But that's only because they lack the life experience and the intellect that us more cultured men possess. Although you can simply blindly bet and it might work out for you, I would instead recommend studying, understanding, and applying critical thinking to this mental stimuli, this, this Rubik's Cube of problem solving that is chicken racing. That way you can get to my level where I can just take one quick glance at the moon runes, then place the heaviest bet I possibly can because I'm starting to lose all self-control. Now as a quick breakdown of the moon runes, Double circle means that that chicken is favored. It's like a boneless, skinless, white meat, canes fried chicken with that nice orange OG sauce. People are betting heavy that this chicken is going to batter and bake every last fraud on that course. Now in reality, did he actually win? No, he placed fourth. But that's the game of chicken racing, my friend. Next, the one circle is more like Chick-fil-A chicken. It's good. It's solid. Not extraordinary, but certainly not below average. It's favored by many, but it isn't the favorite. Triangle is like Popeye's chicken. And I don't mean any disrespect to Popeye's, but, you know, let's just say the degenerate gamblers aren't exactly expecting anything out of this. But with that being said, every once in a while, Popeye's just hits different. 
This never happens when I bet on these little fuckers. And finally, you have the X. This is like getting chicken wings from Little Caesars. Only a madman would bet on this. But with that being said, when one of these wins against my double circle arrow up chickens, I want to... Mm. Nah, never mind. I already got one age gate for saying I do that, and I'm not doing it again. Anyways, arrow up means meth, arrow down means Cosby pills. Mason, I don't know what those numbers mean. And whatever, you don't need to know the rest. Just watch me prove that my methods are the absolute utmost best methods ever. Two and four of the locks. Now let's watch me win. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, let's talk about the combat. This combat makes me wish I started playing this series 10 years ago because god damn it is the it is peak gaming. It is nothing but easy, engaging, and distilled fun cut with some of the wackiest shit you've ever seen in the form of these takedowns. These takedowns are like the Assassin's Creed takedowns if they were on a rail of the Lord's powder. Most of the time I get annoyed when takedowns completely stop combat and take you out of it, but I make an exception for Yakuza because it throws some of the most wild and extravagant cutscene takedowns like this one where the cocaine bear starts mauling some homeless guy or you kick a guy into the air and jam an orange into his mouth and infuse some vitamin C into his skull. Hell, even the goddamn Book of Eli that unlocks new abilities has an animation that takes you to the quantum realm. But my second favorite part about this combat is the unique fighting styles like table no, jutsu. No, 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 no. But before we talk about the unique fighting styles, let's talk about Karaoke. God damn, I love karaoke. Not only is it a fun rhythm game, but this entire list of songs is just banger after banger. Of course, Baka Mikai is the clear winner. And unless, hang on, god damn, hang on, I scored. This one's got me resting the whole road. God damn, I, got, I gotta be right back. I'll be right back. Anyways, as I was saying, I love unique fighting styles. And you get four of them. Wild Dance looks like they charged up an epileptic with flashing lights, then let them rip towards the enemy position. Hands is the reason why my inventory is always brimming with oranges. Sword is... Sword. And the gun is here to constantly remind you that the samurai ain't shit against my 45. God bless. All of these are viable, and together they... You know, have you ever heard of Japanese Jack Black? We'll get back to this. Japanese Blackjack is a game of cunning. A game that, once again, you can mistake for being simple. If you're a mouth-breathing, window-licking halfwit, but in reality, it's like an onion. When you cut into it, it's gonna make you cry. Alright, so imagine Blackjack if the dealer just kept changing with every hand so that you could keep placing one penny bets until it's your turn to be the dealer. Then at that point, you get a free shot to win about 700 credits if you do it all right. If you land a 9 or as close to a 9 as possible so you can beat the peasant people's hands and obtain all of their working class money. Now, as you can see, this did not work at all. But don't worry, this is all a part of my grand plan. That's why you save between hands. Did I forget to say that before? Well, you need to be doing that. Because remember, Remember, you're only a gambling addict if you lose. Anyways, now repeat this, and this is where the skill comes in, until you get a 10-10-1 that grants you an immediate 20,000 Chuck E. Cheese tokens, then go to the Chuck shop and buy 20 platinum plates. Platinum chips? Nah, fuck that. Platinum plates. Then pawn those plates off and you're welcome, pimp. That's the art of the deal. You can repeat this process if you want, but whatever you do, just don't let words like gambling addiction or I'm going to leave you and take the kids. We're staying with my mother upstate for a couple of weeks and you better not be here when we get back. Scare you away from the grind. And real quick, as long as we're talking about gambling, Mahjong. More like I'm gone. I ain't reading all that. Moving on, let's talk about the open world. Michael Caine once said, it's not the size, it's how you use it. And the brothel minigame is just some of the most engaging side activity content that I've seen in the last century. I expected all of my blood to be rushing somewhere during this minigame, but I did not expect it to be hemorrhaging from my brain. Turns out, sex is actually a three-pronged gauntlet consisting of Great, great, great! Great, can now we just please? Alright, hell yeah, here we go. Here we go. No, no. Ah! Ascension! What a blast. I- oh, look. Another offer right outside? This game is too much. I knew this game was a game of cold. As I was saying, have you ever wanted to have a tough time with the Udon minigame is a minigame where you get on that Noodle Man Sigma grind, and it's probably the best barometer current medicine has for testing early onset dementia. And brother, let me tell you something. 
The Udon mini game is a mini game where you get on that. All right, listen, I, I talked about all those mini games for way too long. Now I'm late to talk about busty robot game. My final score, six oranges out of five hobos. I don't even have to think about it. Buy this game. Go out there and get a gambling addiction, pimps, all right? Go live your best life. Goodbye, pimps. <laughs> So that you know, so no